Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. And so it is written in Proverbs 14 verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any other nation. And it is also written, One day in the house of the Lord is like a thousand days. May that day be today because we believe the favor of God is upon us all. Let's begin with our gospel song. into the song and into our hearts and into our minds it cleanses all the tension that we are going through looking forward for the message and prayers from sister Gita hallelujah yes lord we lift your name lord jesus at this time lord hallelujah even as you have brought us lord to a new month lord hallelujah you have been with us all the six months that have passed, Lord, and we want to acknowledge your presence in our lives, Lord. Lord, for taking care of our every need, Lord, with all the pains and the 
ups and downs in our life you have been with us lord hallelujah we thank you lord we just surrender our lives into your hands lord and we know lord even when we fall you are there to lift us up lord hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord hallelujah let your name be magnified let your name be glorified lord hallelujah yes lord there's none like you lord you're the first and the last the beginning and the end lord hallelujah we surrender every every thought lord that uh, takes captive lord hallelujah every thought that exalts itself other than the knowledge of you lord we lay it down at your feet lord hallelujah and we want you to take complete charge of our lives lord have your way in our midst lord thank you master in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen hallelujah to the lamb of god even as the lord has uh, caused us to learn uh, you know to study the uh, person of the holy spirit the holy spirit is very gentle and he's our teacher he's our helper we have seen that uh, we have seen that he's uh, he's the one who takes care of our every need hallelujah and uh, we know the ministry of the holy spirit is so very important in the life of the believer and we have seen last time that even when jesus rose again from the dead for 40 days he was on the earth 40 days he uh, you know he uh, you know met with the disciples we have various accounts you know uh, about five six accounts where he met with the disciples there could have been many more but what is recorded we are aware of and the final uh, final time is when he comes to the mount of olives and they all assemble we are told that 500 people more than 500 people saw jesus even after his resurrection and we are told at this uh, in Acts chapter 1 that even when they assembled together on Mount Olives, you know, and Jesus gave them the last, very last instructions. He had already informed them earlier about the uh, coming of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father is going to send. The Holy Spirit who will teach you, who will remind you. That's what the Holy Spirit does. When we read God's word, he reminds us, you know, of uh, you know the uh, things that we need to know in our personal lives now when jesus was with them uh, you know they had forgotten a lot of stuff but the lord was sending the holy spirit for, for them to understand you know things that they would have forgotten today even if we forget certain things of the scripture that is the holy spirit that brings that reminder into our lives. So it's very important for us to acknowledge and know who the Holy Spirit is and acknowledge him daily in our lives and invite him daily and, uh, you know, and cause him to give us that leading and guidance that uh, he is, you know, here with us for. Okay, and then we are told that, uh, you know, the disciples were very anxious to know, Lord, when when is it going to be that you're going to, you know, give us this freedom from the Roman uh you know uh government they wanted that political freedom but the lord did not come for political freedom first he came first to handle our individual lives you know each each person needs to surrender you know and say lord i need you lord you come into my life and change me and then the lord says that you have a job to do you have something assigned you and i we have an assignment from god and that assignment will be uh, we'll be able to flow in that assignment only by the power of the holy spirit okay so that and then jesus tells them it's not for you to know the times and the season which is specifically in the authority of the hands of the father there's come going to come a time when you know when things are going to change but that you know when jesus is going to come and rule the world but right now you have an assignment you and i have an assignment and that assignment is going to be full fulfilled by the power of the holy spirit inside of us you know these assignments may be you know uh, things in the family things in our neighborhood we require the power and the you know the boldness of the holy spirit so uh, we see that you know uh, even while they were standing there and listening to the lord the lord we have, we have gone uh, through this and 
they saw the Lord ascending into a heaven. This was something spectacular. Just imagine, he was there. He died, he rose again, he's with them 40 days. And now so many of the disciples were surrounding and Jesus is being lifted up into heaven. And they are looking up into heaven when two men, uh, uh, it, it is referred to as men because angels come in the form of humans. You know, if they come as uh, angels, you know, huge and mighty, you and I would get afraid. So these two people come in the midst of them and say, uh, children of Israel, why are you looking this, you know, men of Galilee, why are you gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus who you're seeing going up will be coming down. And Jesus is going to come, you know, to uh, to establish his kingdom physically. Okay, there's a physical appearance of Jesus going to happen in the days to come because it's already prophesied also. Okay, and then we see that the disciples listened to the voice of God. And Jesus said, don't leave Jerusalem. That was a command. Don't leave Jerusalem until... You are endured by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will receive, you know, a new witness of power. That was uh, what uh, the Lord had, you know, already spoken to the disciples. And we see that uh, uh, Peter was the main person in the whole of, uh, you know, among all of the disciples. He's a main spokesman and he's the one who is leading them daily. Now, 40 days have passed after Jesus has, uh, you know, uh, after his resurrection, is he's on the earth. And then now they're waiting, just like Jesus told them, for the promise of the Father. And they're sitting in, a, in the upper room. We are told that they are sitting in the upper room and waiting in prayer. They're waiting together in prayer. We are told all the names of the disciples. And we, we are also told that the 12th disciple, that is Judas, betrayed jesus and uh, he you know he's gone to that place of no return okay he did not repent like peter repented and came back to the lord but judas you know destroyed his very life and in his place they you know they pray to the uh, to god to show them you know who is the pe person who's going to take the place of judas and uh, and matthias Yes, uh, we are told, and they casted lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered among them. So the 12 number had to be fulfilled, okay? Your 12 is a number of completeness, you know, and uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, now we go to the, the, the very coming of the Holy Spirit, the day of Pentecost. Now, 40 days are over after Jesus' uh, resurrection, and 10 days, which means... 40 plus 10, 50, penta cost. Penta means 50. Okay, and now it, sa it says here in chapter 2 of Acts, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, see, they were all in one accord. The Bible says here, they were all in one accord, in one place. They were all in the upper room. 120 of them, okay? 120 of the disciples were in the upper room and they would daily, they didn't know when it's going to happen. So we are told here when the day of Pentecost had fully come, Jesus did not indicate to them it's going to be a 50th day. But now it was on the 50th day, the day of Pentecost had fully come and they were all in one accord. You and I, even as we are on this platform, you know, it's very important for us to know that God has designed this to happen. It is not a fiction of human, you know, uh, intelligence or whatever, or human uh, mind. It is God has intended. And we ought to be in one accord, one mind. And, you know, the very purpose of our coming together is to glorify the Lord. And the Lord has a purpose for bringing us together. So here they were in one accord and suddenly they came a sound from heaven. First they hear a sound. It is not that they see anything first. They hear a sound and the sound is coming from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. Now uh, Holy Spirit is not wind. He is not fire. But he can take the attributes of these powerful elements because he is the Spirit of God. He is the third person of the Trinity. And they hear that sound of a rushing mighty wind coming from heaven. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And then appeared 
to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit gave them utterance. Now, they didn't know what was happening. They didn't know what is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. But here, there's a mighty sound coming from heaven. You can hear it may be, have been a thunderous sound. Therefore, people from around had come to that place because there was a thunderous sound. And there was that wind of it which blew upon them and they were tongues of fire. You know, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Now, Jesus had said that he would be baptizing us in the Holy Spirit and with fire. And here were tongues of fire coming and sitting on each of the 120 disciples who were on that upper room. And they started speaking in tongues, in different languages. And it is, it is a uh, very surprising thing. It's something that, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, no short of a miracle because those languages were unknown to these simple Galileans or the 120 people who were speaking the languages that the Lord had given uh, them at that moment. And yet, you're told here, and they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews. See, now we ought to understand that it was, you know, the Passover is over and, the, uh, you know, uh, 40 days are over, now 50th day this is. And people from all over, Jews from all over, all the various countries around, we are told here, from every nation under heaven, devout men, Jews, okay, the Jews had come to pay their, you know, their worship, to come with their worship to Jerusalem. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together. Now, multitude means when they heard that sound, the, the thunderous sound, you know, all the multitude from around, it was, it was something very, you know, uh, very strong. The sound was very strong. And they all gathered together to this place where the 120 were assembled. And they came together and, were con and they were confused. Now, if you hear this word confused, there's something very strange has happened. They understand there's something very strange that has happened because everyone heard them speak in his own language. They have come from different parts of the world. And it is mentioned to us from di different parts. You know, the the there were Parthians, the Medes, the Elamites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Ju uh, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and uh, Asia, uh, Phycaria, Phimphalia, Egypt, and other parts of Libya. You know, various places from round about, people have come. And they were all confused. Why were they confused? Because they were listening to the praises of God from these Galileans who must have known only Hebrew or only Aramaic or only maybe uh, Greek or whatever. But they were hearing the praise of God from these simple people in their own language, which is something impossible. And that's why they were confused. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, look, are they not all these who speak? Are they not Galileans? Are they not from this place? They would know only their, their language. And here they are getting to know, you know, different languages are being spoken. Yeah, and uh, and uh, then it says here, we hear them speak in our own tongue, in our own tongue. So what they're saying, we are hearing our own language being spoken, the praises of God, the wonderful works of God. So it is most surprising. You know, we end here and it says here that they were all amazed. You know, there's so many words that uh, the word of God expresses here they were amazed they were perplexed they were confused they were marveling and saying to what one another whatever could this mean but there were others who mocked and and they said they are full of new wine you know when when we are walking in the power of the holy spirit when we are walking and doing the will of god there'll be many who will say will come against us and even mock us because they don't understand. What they don't understand, they will mock, they will be critical about. But we don't have to worry. As long as we are in the will of God, doing the will of God, walking the narrow path, walking 
and doing whatever pleases our God. So uh, our, uh, our takeaway from this should be, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. And one of the, one of the expressions of the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. One of the expressions. It is boldness. And one of the expressions is speaking in tongues. So, the you know, the, this is a gift that the Lord has given us. We pray right now. And we ask the Lord to fill us to overflowing with his Holy Spirit. Lord, our heavy Father, God, thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that's given to us, Lord, as your children, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for residing in us, Lord. We are those the vessels, uh, Lord, that you have honored with your presence, Lord. And we pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you would anoint us daily with a fresh portion of your presence, Lord. Lord Jesus, you said, Lord, those who hunger and thirst after you come to me and drink and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Lord, we pray, Lord, that these rivers of living water would just explode from our being every day, Lord, and we would not forsake this gift of speaking in tongues, Lord, enrich us, Lord. We ask of you this day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. And this was something that I really wanted to know. How do people in today's time, you know, celebrate the Pentecost? How in today's time we must know what is the importance of Pentecost? And you also mentioned how God has given us the gift of tongues. So is it possible, Geeta, sister, for you to, you know, just express how uh, the gift of tongues and how do you pray in uh, tongues? Yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, that the gift of tongues is something which is by faith. You know, it is meaningless words. Uh, it, it may be meaningless words because it doesn't have any uh, understanding. We are unable to understand those words. But it is a, a faith language. When we speak, you know, we release ourselves. Lord, help me, Lord, that I would speak that language that you have given me by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we don't understand it. So uh, St. Paul says, I will pray in the Spirit I pray with understanding and I pray also in the spirit, which means I will pray, uh, you know, uh, understandable words like in my language and also pray the prayer of the spirit, that is uh, the tongues. Uh, the thing is, uh, I can't demonstrate it here, but uh, uh, maybe, you know, while we pray uh, Devanti or whatever, we could just, you know, flow in the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. It is not something that, yeah, yeah, because it is something inside of us which, uh, yeah, which we speak out in faith. So this is something that we are going to be doing as we call Sister Devanti to pray in the Holy Spirit and Geeta will be mm -hmm. joining us. So looking forward for Devanti to come in and before that I would like to share the testimony of people who have been healed and reports of diagnosis that have come from the hospitals have been cancelled. So no matter what your sickness or your disease is, no matter what your depression is, no matter what your distress is, the Spirit of God, when it is upon you, it cancels all these reports. So Devanti sister, are you ready? And uh, Devanti, if you are led by, you know, if you are led to, uh, you know, pray in tongues, do it. If not, we can, uh, as gradually it happens, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I also want to remind about Rosie's sister. She's sharing the word today. Mm -hmm. Have we scared her? Yes, yes, sister. I will share. Okay, I will share the word yes, first. Then. Yes, yeah. sister. That, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, Genesis chapter 48, verse 16, 15. Genesis chapter 48, verse 15, that says, And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, 
the god who has fed me all my life long to this day yeah because this i want to say because god has taken care of me from my childhood till now he is feeding me best and best sister amen and till amen. end of the day also he going to take care of me and my family amen absolutely yes, yes. yeah praise the lord and one one That's more word uh, uh accident chapter 34 was 14 says that accident 40 34 was 14 that says for you shall worship no other god amen for amen. the lord whose name mm. is jealousy yes he say jealousy god see Mm. Our God is the great yes. God. He is the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yes. I yes. actually should not worship any other God. Any He is a jealous other, yes, God, and why is He jealous? Yeah. He jealous. He loves us because yeah. He loves us so much. So much, correct? Yeah, we should not yeah. leave this God and go other God. Amen. Amen. Who believes in this commit uh, commandment, they receive the favor of God. Amen. 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 And wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, Sevandi, yeah. are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I would just like to add, uh, uh, you know, in the Hebrew Bible, the word for the jealous God is Jehovah Kana. Okay. Sure. The jealous God. Ah. He is, he mm. is, he has that burning fire within him, the love mm. for his children that makes him, you know, uh, you know, go behind his children, and that's the reason. It's not that uh, just one way that we have to, you know, worship our God alone. It is His love which is running behind us, and that love. when we respond to that love automatically you know that spring of uh, you know that love spring from us also comes out and then we are completely committed to him completely committed to him amen and mm. name where you know it speaks it touches my heart you know uh, i i really love when i uh, speak the name of my god you know with his attribute the name defines his attribute the characteristic of what actually that means you know and what actually it does into our lives he has given it to us so that we understand him and we understand and uh, we will get into prayer uh mm. grace of god to get together uh, a beautiful uh opportunity of getting together prayer is not just asking for needs it is yeah. worshiping the lord we belong and it is the greatest opportunity because Amen. in the grave today who did not see life in the grave they are lying down and they cannot glorify yeah. god but we have the opportunity as yeah. a living king yeah. that god give me life because who will please you in the grave so we thank Correct. god that we are alive yeah. and we will pray as we are alive Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we come into your awesome presence, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, we Lord plead the blood of Jesus over this entire platform oh, and the four Father. pillars that you established in the names, O oh Lord, of that you have given mm. us, O oh Father. Lord, you are the hand over us, O oh Father. Lord, we yes. look to the completion of your will. we look o oh lord yes. towards you in the process of oh father as we go day by day week by week o oh father praising and glorifying you o lord to reach the ends of the earth through this platform o oh father lord each yes. and every family o oh lord that encounters the word o oh father i pray that they will have a fresh revelation from the word o oh father let holy spirit minister to their spirit o oh father Lord, the soul will do the reasoning, but the spirit will absorb your word, O oh Lord, in the form it is, O oh Father. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Yes. Lord, we lift you up, O oh Father. Lord, we pray, Father, especially for the teenagers, O oh Father. 
Yes, Lord, Lord, for the youth. Lord, Lord, for the and dying, oh Father, for the backslidden especially, oh Lord, my God. Lord, they tasted your love, oh Father, but the bitter experience of their life, oh Lord, has made them wonder from your love. Oh Lord, let your love find them, oh Father. Lord, let your love surround them, oh Father. The teenagers, the youths, the backslidden, oh Father. Lord, let them come to you, oh Father. Lord, we pray, Father, for breakthroughs, O oh Lord, in families, O oh Lord, in their finances, yes, O oh Lord. This is yes, a place, yes. O oh Lord, where the enemy yes. has been attacking continuously, O oh Lord, and making them lame and stumble, O oh Father. Lord, we pray for your strength, financial strength into every Christian family, O oh Father. Lord, yes, we Father. pray, Lord, that each family, O oh Lord, which you have built, the husband and the wife, Lord, both the spouses will help each other, O Lord. Hold each other in prayer. Uplift your will, O Father, through their lives and yes, through their Father. families, O Lord. Pray, Lord. Mm -hmm. Let our Christian families, O Lord, be examples, O Lord, of good, good parenting, O Father. Not yes. who anger their children. Not who mm -hmm. make their children, O Lord, wander, O Lord, for love, O Father. Lord, I pray, let your love, O Lord, your holy and divine love, O oh Father, outpour from our spirit, O oh Father, for our children, our physical, our biological children, and our spiritual children as well. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for all the leaders and the pastors and the evangelists and the missionaries, especially for their needs, O oh Father. Yes, Lord, Lord and yes. all they're going through, O oh Lord. Lord, you are the God who order our steps, O oh Father. Lord, let your yes. will be done. Lord, let your kingdom come, O oh Father. Lord, I pray for their needs, O oh Lord. Spiritual needs, mental, emotional needs, O oh Father. Mental peace, O oh Father, in the family. And Lord, let every strife, O oh Lord, be released out of their family, O oh Lord. Come, let them come to peace, O oh Father, so that they excel in the work of their hands, O oh Father. Lord, we speak the blood of Jesus over the work of our hands. And I speak hundredfold, hundredfold, O oh Father, increase, O oh Lord, into every man's handwork, into every women's handwork, into every youth handwork, O oh Father. And Lord, let every increase, O oh Lord, give you glory, O oh Lord. Lord, we bless our elders, O oh Father. Give them the understanding and more of understanding, more of it, O oh Father, so that they can help us, O oh Lord. Lord, help us, O oh Lord, to drain out all the bitterness, O oh Lord, each and every woman of every family. Let every bitterness be cleaned out and let love function, O oh Father, because God is love. O oh Lord, let God function through us, O oh Father. Lord, you have portrayed us as your masterpiece into our families, into our churches. You have pioneered us, O oh Father. And you are the God of every woman. Every rejected woman will lift up to you. Every woman gone astray will lift up to you. Every daughter in addiction will lift up to you. Every daughter who is raped, O oh Father, will lift up to you, O oh Father. Every daughter who has gone through injustice will lift up to you. Only you can do justice, O oh Father. And only yes. your love can satisfy her, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank mm -hmm. you. We praise you. kanamante. Lord, we love you. We love you for you have loved us first. And we give you glory. Lord. We give you glory. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our pastor. Yes. We love you, Lord, for your awesome presence in our, into our lives. In Jesus' mm -hmm. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, we Thank also you. want to pray for uh, uh, Rosie, even as she would be uh, going to her native place, Lord. She's going to be, Lord, with the entire family, Lord. We pray your blessing, Lord, Lord, that you would take them safely, Lord, that they would have a blessed time in Rupi, Lord God. Hallelujah. Anoint them, Lord, and strengthen them. And Lord, let your glory rest upon them, Lord. Hallelujah. Let them have a wonderful time, Lord, and protect them from every harm and danger and bring them back safely. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister, so much. God bless. God bless. And so we have another four minutes to go, but I will not leave this without, you know, testifying. Knowing that Rosie is going to would be my brother-in-law, my glory. And he, you know, really tried his level best to teach me how to eat fish. Now, how is that related to my testimony? Because 
from the last month i was preparing myself to know more about the holy spirit how the holy spirit works in our life how do we get the favor of god because we cannot do too many favors to people personally you know we need the favor of god to share the favor of god to others we can give yeah. materialistic gifts to others but there is a limit you know we are bound by what we can give personally but when we do it in the spirit of god that gift becomes eternal and knowing that my husband is not uh, belonging to the same faith that i walk in but he believes in my god that is important for me so it was sunday and uh, i was like lord in your days you know we had two fish what did i say i just speak this way the way i'm speaking to you all in your days there were two fish what am i going to get for dinner and right enough that night my husband eats all kinds of fish except for bangda i don't eat fish at all and that night he bought just two fish Now, it's ridiculous because Geeta knows my husband. He is a person who buys things in abundance. You know, abundance, he buys yeah. a basket of fish and all that. And when mm. I saw that, I was like, I am truly living in the favor of God because this is not the call that I made to him. Correct? He did not know that this is what I asked the Lord because. the disciples are constantly worried i mean there are so many people who's going to feed them and there's one thing very nicely that jesus says he says haven't you forgotten that when there were two fish and five loaves and when there were seven loaves what happened how many baskets we got so that was a sign that no matter who we are living with whether you are living with an asian or whether you are living with people from around the world when god is with you they come in his presence and that is you know leading your life with your family in fellowship with god and for the first time i think shanaya who was looking at the bangla she was confused how to eat it but i was telling her you know this is holy to the lord so you got to enjoy it then i asked uh, my husband also would he be eating it he was like no no i just got these two fish for you i've done it was like you know i've done my duty you know i can't do anything more than this so god is going to be the one like you said there will be those two people standing with you when you're praying correct god is not going to come down like an angel because that's going to frighten us there will be those two people he could be my husband for all that uh, means but to be honest i have felt the presence of god all through these days when i sit down for these kind of meetings in the midst of few people where two or three mm-hmm. gather i feel that the presence of god is much more than sitting down with you know hundreds of people who are glorifying their shoes and their dresses and uh, the nail polish this kind of worship to you know adorn yourself with just the word of god to be dressed in the holy spirit the armor of god the spirit of righteousness is helmet of salvation is amazing and so we have less than 1 minute and the time to bless begins now may god be great